100,000 people coming to the Space Coast for a man's mission back to the moon, and hotels are already filling up a month in advance. That's a pretty big number. That's a bigger number than I've heard in years. After decades of work, man's return back to the moon is getting closer to reality. The Space Coast Office of Tourism projects at least 100,000 people will fill up the coast, craning their necks to watch the Artemis launch on August 29th. Tom Williamson is a partner at four hotels, the Hampton Inn and Marriott Courtyard at Cocoa Beach, and the Best Western and Days Inn at the Pier. That's 600 rooms total. We're already sold out at our Marriott Courtyard, and we're real close here at our Hampton Inn. It has a significant impact, not just on the hotel community, but on all of our tourism businesses uh, in the county. But with any launch, missions are subject to things like changing weather conditions and technical difficulties. With Labor Day weekend around the corner, both Cranus and Williamson say people may pack a bigger bag and stay another week. 70% of launches don't go on their initial day and time. Uh, for us, we don't consider that a bad thing necessarily because if people stay another night, it's, you know, we like that. This is what spending will look like for the average visitor. Crana says the average party size for launches is three people. For those staying overnight, people will spend over a thousand dollars and about 150 for a day trip. I don't know how many people realize that this is NASA's start back to the moon. It's pretty exciting. The Space Coast Office of Tourism tells me they're building more hotel rooms in the coming years to meet this growing demand. In Cocoa Beach, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.